I've been using this van now for a couple of years and this bought smart van shelving I've been using now for just over a year. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what was going on inside the van and kind of give you guys my review of what I think about the shelving, what I love, things that I think that could be improved and all that good information. So looking at it from the side here, I have a whole lot of tools. Still manage actually to have this little alleyway here for storing plywood and other sheet goods. And what you'll find here is I have something like this Festool CT26 and behind this I have the MIDI. And the MIDI I will dedicate to things such as the Capex. Now you may be wondering how do I manage to work with all these tools in here and essentially every job that I go to I know that I'm going to be pulling out a Capex. I know that I'm going to be pulling out at least one if not two vacuums. I also know that I'll be pulling out a ladder and a table. So certain things will be coming out of the van first and then I can get to other tools behind that. Now there's going to be certain things in the van that I may not necessarily pull out in this video but one thing I can tell you is that things back here such as the track saw and routers these guys do not come out unless I bring these guys out. It's just something that I found in my workflow that I always have the tables come out first. Over this side, you'll mainly see sustainers, an array of other items, such as all of my air hoses and a couple extra Festool plug-it cables. So one of my favorite things about this system is how easy it is to use. So with the new SIS-3 sustainers, they have their own separate rails. I lift it up, probably about a half inch at best. I can pull it out. There's a second catch, I lift it up again, and it slides right out. Putting it back in is almost just as easy, slides right in, and it drops in place. I have been over all kinds of rough terrain with this van, and I have never had anything come out of the shelving. With older style sustainers, such as what I have down here with my Carvex, similar shelving, it doesn't lock in, but there is a little bay here, so you still have to lift it up to slide it out, but it doesn't lock in quite the same. Even with the older style sustainers and racking, I still have zero issues with any movement or sustainers coming out of the shelving. Up top here, at the moment, I just have an array of things such as clamps, my stability levels, and bungee cables. Now, I have spoken with Bot Smart Van about doing something in this upper area. They say that they're testing and developing some things, uh, but in the meantime, I may just end up building something myself because this is complete wasted space. Every single inch in this van to me is very valuable. If I can fill it with a tool, I certainly will. Now, let's go to the roof of the van because this is another important aspect. I get so many questions on this. So FastCap makes these guide rail holders and they work splendid. They also make level holders. I have one for my six foot Stabila. Unfortunately, they do not make anything for the R-beam levels, which are actually my favorite, but instead I just bungee corded this in. These guys do not move whatsoever. I have rib nut bolts that go into the van ceiling and then I screw these into the plywood and these guys do not go anywhere. I've been extremely happy with these and I have many, many guide rails so I can go any length I want and use any track saw as I use several different track saws. So I dedicate certain guide rails to certain saws. Yes, you can tune up your saw to be used all on the same guide rails I would rather not do that. I kind of just have them separately and I have the space to do so. So I figured, hey, why not? Moving over to level, this is a simple little system here. You just twist it and this comes down and there's one on each end. Now taking a closer look here, I have my regular Festool sustainers, nothing inside there too interesting, but I did order these L sustainers, which are a little larger than the regular ones and I have them labeled. So this one is for my cleaning, has all my trash bags in it. This one has my nail gun, and you see here I have everything labeled. So just taking a closer look inside one of these sustainers here, you'll see I have my midi bags and some trash bags, just general stuff to keep myself organized. Down here, I even boxed up things like my shims, just so that way I could keep everything condensed. So taking a look from the side view here, I see several things. Atlas 46 tool bag that I leave hanging here. Behind, I have several blades and masking tape. You never know when you're gonna need masking tape. It's nice to just have it on hand, as well as the blades. 
So I have a bunch of frog tape, that's what I like to use, and below that I just have an array of caulking, so Big Stretch, Sasco, all that good stuff, as well as the caulking gun you see here on the side, and even some PL Premium, and again the Big Stretch. I just like to have those things kind of ready available. Now from the side of the van, you'll see I have my Makita Quiet Compressor. I absolutely love having quiet tools. Capex, the table saw, and a bunch of shelving stuff. Extra vacuum hoses, a variety of lengths and widths. Never know what you're gonna need, as well as small stuff like air shims, just loose stuff here in the shelving that I eventually plan on condensing into sustainers. So I have a few other loose items here. PLS laser, the first to light, couple extra mini bags that couldn't fit mini sustainer full of full bits, and up top I have a steel leaf blower which has been fantastic. I would like to actually end up hanging this somewhere in the van, but for now this is kind of where it sits. Fantastic for blowing off driveways. The Capex UG wings, again I would like to have a dedicated space for those, but it seems to work just fine for now, and a whole stack of extra sustainers. So I took the CT26 out of the way just so you could get a closer look. There's the MIDI, and this is really nice as well. So I have a whole drawer full of GRK fasteners, a couple other miscellaneous things, uh, cutouts for lights. You never know when you might need one of those. They're pretty handy. And again, more of the L sustainers. So I have clamps in here, MFT clamps. Just opening this guy up, you'll see I have an array of clam clamps. Uh, more clamps from Kuro's Carpentry, as well as the True Positions jig, which doesn't quite belong in there, but it just kind of fills the spot for now once it has a permanent home. Taking a closer look here at the shelving too, you'll notice these anchor points here. So you have adjustable ones and fixed ones at the bottom. This is a part of the Bot Smart Van system, as well as the lashing straps themselves. So that is a quick overview and tour of the inside of my van. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or have any questions. And if you want to see a more in-detailed, in-depth review of the van, please feel free to let me know below. Hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.